friends, welcome back to my channel. It is Halloween. I'm getting ready to go to a little candy party. So if you want to see the Siren Sunset Collection by Lunar Beauty in action, then just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. Happy November 1st. I hope you guys are ready for the holiday season. I'm so excited. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. There's a lot of content coming your way. There's so many launches. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure you're subscribed, turn on that bell. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. Okay, I'm a little stressed, I'm not gonna lie. I need to go quick, quick, quick. So, I have the Siren Sunset Collection here with me. It's an 18 shade palette, $55. We've got three liquid lipsticks, $18. I already put some bronzer on because I wanted to go Lunar Beauty, so I have his Outer Dimension palette here, and I use that to throw on some bronzer. We need to throw on an eye look. I'm gonna show you close-ups swatches of the palette. I am so excited about this one. I thought this color story was so cool. I thought the packaging was absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and do a colorful eye look because that is the realm that I live in. And it's Halloween. I got my Wednesday shirt on. I got places to be, people to see, things to do. So yeah, I have to use the shade Ariel. Oh, <laughs> you see that? Oh my gosh, the shade Merman is like a green. I did not remember that from the reveal. So I'm going to put Ariel right here. It looks like the color of the Little Mermaid's beautiful tail. I live, I love. Ooh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited that Lunar Beauty did a colorful or like a little bit more colorful palette because after that advent calendar, oh, I was just like, so bummed and I did see some of you commented I think we were all thinking the same thing that this was kind of the color story we were expecting from the advent calendar and I was like oh my gosh that is so freaking true I was thinking that when I was looking at everybody's comments on their thoughts on this collection so yeah I'm super duper excited this shade is working out so well Oh, that's so pretty. I kind of just want to do like that, or whatever that is. That's what I want. I want like a major winged moment. I've been loving this brush from Unearthly to kind of get that like outer corner to get snatched. I'm looking, I was looking for that. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go into this purpley shade called Seductress, and I'm going to lay that shade down on the outer corner. This brush with this angle is so perfect for me for outer corner work because I'm so, like, I don't know, I get, like, weird about my outer corner, so I love having that angle because it really helps me control the edge. I know some people use tape, which like I've been considering, but I also feel like I want to be less concerned about my eyeshadow being that symmetrical. But you guys let me know what you think. How do you handle your outer corner? Do you care if it's precise or do you not mind? Either which way. This purple is fire. It is blending beautifully. It is applying and building up really nicely as well. So I'm excited about that. Does it look weird? Don't answer that. Okay, what are we putting on the lid? We've got Temptress and we've got Siren. I feel like we should do Siren on the lid. It's one of the multi-chromes in this palette. So I'm gonna grab it on a Sigma brush and I'm gonna spray that brush. And I'm gonna run it on the outer edge all the way to the 
inner corner. And then I think I'm going to use this shade called Water Nymph. Wow, that is impressive. It's so pigmented. I mean, I feel like there's different levels of multichromes, right? And I was expecting these to be nice, but I can really see the shift, which is cool. Like, I'm happy that Lunar Beauty didn't just do, like, you know, basic multi-chromes. These are very, very shifty. I can see the purple and blue in the mirror, so that's lovely. Okay, so for eyeliner, I'm gonna use this Pacifica liner. I still forgot to look up if they make this in more shades. They send me two shades, and look at how pigmented these are. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, and they smell like a brand new pencil, which is like, I need to make a perfume call pencil because it's a very distinct woody smell that I'm low-key into. I feel like if you're a stationary nerd like me, you'd know what I'm talking about. So I'm just tucking Ariel all Oh, I love a teal. I love a teal. I'm just gonna go all along the waterline here, and I'm gonna take my brush from Unearthly, and I'm just gonna just gonna run that purple a little bit into the lower lash line. And I'm gonna take the shade called Deep Sea, which is a matte blue. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that on the outer edge. And then I need a blending brush. Let's see. I'm gonna take this one from Singe and just run that over the blue. Blend that into the purple. I can't wait for Singe to restock. I think I need to buy. I think I need to buy another set of brushes. I have one. I kept it because I was gonna take more photos. I haven't done that yet, but this is cute. Like it's simple, but it's cute. And then let me go ahead and put Water Nymph in the inner corner. Just gonna spray my brush. And pat, 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 pat. Ooh, pretty. Pat, 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 pat. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm getting ready really quick because my kid's going to be back from her gymnastics class here any second. So I got to just hustle. There are three lippies in this collection. So let's go ahead and swatch them quick. I tried to do a close up, but I don't think it worked out. So this is the first shade called Sailor. It's like a cool tone nude. I don't know if I'm going to wear that tonight. I feel like I need to be in the mood for these like cementy shades. So I don't know if I'm going to wear that one. The next shade is called Pink Pearl. And this is like a beautiful like muted magenta color. So it looks like that. And then the last shade is called Abyss. And this is like a deep... Ooh, it's like a deep, deep plummy purple. So those are the three. And I really do love Manny's liquid lipsticks. So I just couldn't choose and I was like, let me just get them all, let me just get them all. So I'm applying the shade called Pink Pearl. Okay, I think I'm gonna wait for it to dry down and I'm gonna do a second layer. But I did buy something else from his makeup line. I bought the powder. So this is the Luniversal Setting Powder in Translucent Medium. I haven't really been setting my face too, too much because I watched a video from Robert Welsh and he's like, if you have dry skin, like you don't have to powder. And I was like, why do I powder? Like, I mean, sure. Like, it extends the wear of your makeup, but I have pretty dry skin. But I did feel like this looked like magical powder, so I wanted to try it out. And listen, I don't know about you guys, but Lunar Beauty sends me coupons every once in a while. So I had 20% off Lunar Beauty order. So I was like, well, I might as well grab the powder. Because I skipped the powder when it launched. Because I didn't want to just buy a powder. But that is super duper soft. And I would heard really good things from my friends. So there's a side with the powder. Here's a side without the powder. I'm just using it to set my 
under eyes and I use the Natasha Denona foundation I'm trying to like finish that up so I'm just gonna go a little bit heavy with the powder just because like I said we're going to a friend's house to hand out candy and I like to set pretty much my whole face I will fix the lippy okay I do love this packaging like that is so nice and then there's a little poof so I will definitely play with this some more but it definitely made my under eyes look really nice and smooth so I am into that I'm very much into that and then I did grab all of my <laughs> Lunar Beauty blush palettes because I was like well we have to find the perfect blush I haven't played with the full fantasy one a ton since I bought it let me do a rose skyline I think that'll look pretty with the I'm gonna mix these two actually I think with the purples Ooh, <gasps> love it so you guys will have to let me know if you are a Halloween person or not I know it's not for everyone. I have indulged because I didn't grow up here, so I never got to go like trick-or-treating and stuff. And now that I have two littles, it is kind of fun. Although I will say Halloween so far has been a bit of a disaster at my house. My almost two-year-old doesn't want to wear a costume. She's not really into like headgear, so she like won't wear hats. She's totally that meme like my kid like the mom like walking around holding a coat and saying like she doesn't want to wear it like i i know that like i need to dress her for the weather but she won't let me put it on that's my kid so she's just been having meltdown after meltdown about her costume and i'm like listen this does not need to be stressful um if you don't want to wear it you don't have to it sucks that we won't have like all these cute little pictures of our kids but all that matters is that they're happy I don't know maybe she's spoiled a little bit because I know some parents they're like I'm the boss but we're kind of like trying to be gentle parents because I was definitely raised like more like you do as I say um, but I don't want to be like that with my kids so we'll see how it goes I'll keep you posted but I refuse to stress if they don't want to wear costumes, they don't have to. And the littler one, I got her this really cute lion costume from Walmart, which is where I think I went wrong. And it's like shedding like crazy. So I don't want to put her in it. I'm just going to return it. And I don't want her to like accidentally inhale the fluff. So we have no costumes. It's Halloween and it'll all be fine. Okay, so I'm going to put on some mascara find some earrings to go with my Wednesday t-shirt and I'll be right back to give you guys my thoughts on this collection. Okay y'all, so here is the finished look. What do you think? I had to put on my scorpion earrings because I'm wearing my Wednesday shirt. So yeah, that's the look. Let me know. Leave me a mermaid emoji if you like this one. I had a lot of fun. Listen, I have to wrap this up because I gotta go upstairs and get my kids ready, but I did grab my Moonspell palette because in Manny's video where he was revealing the collection, he did say that he felt like Moonspell 1 was kind of the closest to this Siren Sunset palette. I will say, I mean, I've only just tried Siren Sunset, but I do feel like this is a more interesting color story for me right now compared to this one. So I'm very excited about that addition of multi-chromes and the fun duo chromes and things like that. I'll definitely keep you guys posted on any other thoughts I have in the future. Let's go ahead and talk really quick about the products I tried today. I'm very excited for this powder. I think that it definitely made my under eyes look smoother. So I'm definitely going to be testing this out. Like I said, I got it in the shade Translucent Medium. I still haven't placed a Sephora order. Can you believe it? I wanted a few things. Some of the stuff I wanted is sold out. So now I'm like, well, I might as well just wait. I think I'm going to place an order the day you're seeing this video. I might get the Huda palette. I'm not 100% sure because honestly, I have so much work to do. I don't really need to grab another palette, but 
you know, I kind of just want to have it, <laughs> if I'm being honest. And then as far as the lipsticks go, I don't think any of these are like my favorite colors. I will say I'll probably wear um, Sailor the least just because I'm not really into cool tone browns. But the other two shades are nice. I have not found like my perfect, perfect Lunar Beauty shade just yet. No, actually that's wrong. I think Zaya is probably my favorite because it's like a terracotta shade. A lot of the others just aren't my favorite, but I do love his formula. Super duper comfortable, so I keep collecting them. And also his lip oils are fabulous. If you want a lip oil from Lunar Beauty, highly recommend. And then as far as the eyeshadow palette goes, I think this is so pretty, the mattes. I mean, I only use three of them, but I'm very impressed with these colorful mattes. So I can't wait to play with the neutrals. The multi-chrome was beautiful. The duochrome is beautiful. So I'm really enjoying this look. I can't wait to play with this palette some more. And yeah, those are kind of my first impression thoughts. So sorry I had to make this snappy, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment down below, and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, friends!